that's all you need. All you need to be successful, not, not just in film, in life. All you need to do is hold on. Uh, welcome to the Pantheon Parenthetical. My name is Lance Ash, and we're going to continue with memories of the senior trip to Great Britain. Um, first of all, on the flight over, uh, I sat with my girlfriend at the time, and we, uh, we made out during the darkness. However, during the course of the week, um, we had some sort of disagreement, and she was um, mad at me about this and that. So on the flight home, we didn't sit together. I sat with a different girl, and I made out with her on the way home. Uh, meanwhile, I had been secretly dating this girl back home from a different school who was a few years younger than I. And I didn't have much money to spend on the trip, but I wasted a good bit of it on this ugly sweater for her. And while I was gone, something happened and she turned against me. So when I met up with her to give her the sweater, she uh, let me know that, you know, it was over. I let her keep the sweater anyway, but anyway. All right. Um, now, the people who ran the school promoted the trip as a visit to three distinct nation states, England, Scotland, and Wales. Now, this is March of 87, and that description was not very appropriate, certainly at the time. Um, so most of the time was spent in England, around London, really. Uh, with one day in Wales and one day in Scotland. Um, we had a, um, a dedicated bus driver, a tour bus driver, for most of the trip. His name was Phil, and he would talk to us, try to be humorous uh, over the buses, um, the coach, they call him a coach, uh, the coach's uh, PA system. Well, he left it on the day we went to Wales, so we could hear him arguing with the people, with our chaperones up front at the front of the bus. We were all right, the, our core group was all, all the way at the back of the bus, and we could hear them arguing. He was telling them that this Wales trip was a pointless, it was a waste of time, it was, it was boring, there was nothing to do in Wales, nothing to see in Wales. <laughs> And they wouldn't listen. They were, no, we're going to Wales. We have to go to Wales. Well, the uh, end point of our trip to Wales was an agricultural museum, which was basically one room with some ancient plows tacked up on the wall. Um, some, at some point during the day, we got off the coach and walked around some little town. When we got back in, you could smell the booze. Phil was drunk. Uh, there was a blizzard on the way home, and our drunken bus driver drove us through the blizzard back to London. Um, the trip to Scotland, we had been up all day, and then we were supposed to take an all-night train trip to Edinburgh. We were supposed to sleep on the train, but there were four of us that stayed awake playing cards all night, and then stayed awake all that day in Edinburgh, and then all night on the train ride home. It was the first time I'd ever been awake over 24 hours. Um, there was another, uh, due to some kind of screw up in the tickets, uh, the arrangements of the train r ride up to Edinburgh, they gave us a first class car, which was right next to the, to the uh, snack car. And um, there was another group of guys who kept going to the snack car to buy uh, beer. They, would, they, sold, they had, had no problem selling these guys beer and uh, low, alcohol, low alcohol content um, cider and stuff, and they were getting drunk and getting loud, and we had the, those of us who were playing cards that would tell them, you know, you need to keep it down. Uh, our hotel, which is called, I think, the Grand Royal Re Western, or the Great Royal Western, right across the street from Paddington Station, it sold beer in the lobby in a vending machine, and there was another group of guys that kept sneaking down from the room at night and filling up an uh, ice bucket full of bottles of beer and getting drunk in the room. Remember, this is a Christian school. Um, the trip to Edinburgh uh, was, at that time, the coldest I've ever, I had ever been in my life. 
and I bought at some department store up there I bought a jean jacket with a red and black plaid lining some brand I never heard of never seen since I can't remember what it was called and um, I lost the jacket over the years I don't know what happened to it I wish I still had it although it wouldn't fit me today um, let me see I'm gonna try to wrap this trip up in this episode trying to think of anything else I need to mention. Oh, that's right. We went to see The Mousetrap, the long-running Agatha Christie play uh, at that little theater that it's played at for years. And we were late getting there because the wife of the guy who owned the school screwed up the directions. And they let us in, all 30 of us, while the play was going on. It was very embarrassing. Anyway, that's about all I can think of for uh, this. And we're going to move on to other memories next time. So thank you very much for listening.